day to all so thank you again for joining me for another cyber defenders challenge uh, named tomcat team take over okay so without further ado this is a network forensics challenge so again we'll deal with a pickup file so for the details of the challenge so pretty basic so a SOC teams detected suspicious activity on one of the servers web servers within the company's intranet in order to gain a deeper understanding of the situation, the team has captured a pickup for analysis. Okay, the pickup file potentially contains a series of malicious activities that have resulted in the compromise of the Apache, Apache, and Tomcat web server. We need to investigate this incident further. Okay, so these are the tools to analyze this completely and with ease. Uh, Wireshark network miner. So let's let's dive in. Okay, so first part, uh, I actually opened it here, both in network network miner and Wireshark. So for the first question, given the suspicious activity detected on the web server, shows a series of requests uh, across various ports. Okay, so we're looking for a our potential web scanner or scanning behavior. So to do that, uh, the the easiest way to do that is this is our raw pickup. Uh, okay, and what we can do is go to, to statistics and conversations. Uh, of course, being the port scanner, uh, it it should have the most number of conversations. So what can we see here? So it's getting obvious now that this IP, source IP, address A, is too noisy. And hence, it's the one doing the network scanning. Okay. Next question, number two. Based on the identified IP address associated with the attacker, can you ascertain the city from which the attacker's activity originated? <clears throat> Okay, so coming back from our Wireshark, 14.01, this one, you can copy this uh, IP, 14.00.120. Okay, so a quick Google search, IP geolocation. So there are many tools uh, that, that can give you a... Uh, location for the specific IP so let's just try this one 10.0.0 .0 .0. .0. .0. oh sorry 14.0.0.120 let's try the IP lookup okay I think it's taking some time here. What do we have here? Okay. As you can see here, uh, we got the city, Guangzhou. Right? So that's how we find it. Some of some bit of some bit a little bit of OSINT. <coughs> Uh, for the next one, from the pickup analysis, multiple open ports were detected as a result. Attackers' activity scan. Which of these ports provide access to the web server? Admin panel. Okay, so to do that, uh, let's go back to the Wireshark. Uh, what we'll do here is... Okay, let's filter HTTP here. And let's use the string search. Uh, let's try admin. And as we can see here, the port is 8080. Okay, just to verify, we can follow the HTTP stream. Okay, as you can see here, yeah, it's responding. 
expanding here admin 404 not found but if you scroll down uh, further there's actually a success connection here or maybe in later stream but yeah it's definitely for port uh, 8080 uh, if you don't believe me okay <laughs> we have there uh, yeah port 8080 there okay in the next one q4 uh, following the discovery of open ports on our server uh, it appears the attacker attempted to enumerate and uncover directories in our files in our web server uh, which tools can you identify uh, used for the enumeration process okay going back to our war shark uh, it's actually uh, can be can be found uh, right away in the user agent go buster is a well-known uh, web uh, directory enumeration tool like dear buster and others all right so that's for the number four okay we're we're moving fast here so sure this is a, this is just an easy challenge that will brush up your wireshark and network miner skills so next up, question five. Subsequent to their efforts to enumerate directories on our web server, the attacker made numerous requests trying to identify administrative interfaces. Which specific directory associated with the admin panel was the attacker able to recover? Okay, which directory? So we're dealing with Tomcat here, right? So what we can do here is follow the HTTP stream for the IP of the attacker this one and we will eventually see that directory okay where are directories that he, the attacker browsed if it's not here it's in the for in the other streams 1400 okay it's not here Let's move to the other streams. 1400. Oh, that's why it's in. I have here a search string. So let's. Actually, right here, we could already see in the info. Uh, and then, of course, we can filter further for the IP address and ip dot equals 14.0.0.11120 okay so given that filter uh, we could just uh, browse here eventually you will find it get admin manager examples get 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 invoker as you can see here manager this is what we've been looking for and it's iterating through the subdirectories within that directory manager so as you can see here deploy html install jm proxy and so forth and so on and that's actually the answer here manager right okay question six upon accessing the admin panel the attacker made attempts to brute force the login credentials from the data can you identify the correct username and password combination that the attacker successfully used for authorization so for this one the easiest way is to use network miner so open the pcap using the network miner and it'll eventually strip or carb credentials within that pcap file which is pretty good and not only credentials there are files images messages sessions etc so that's a powerful tool 
uh, when you're analyzing a pickup so uh, those this is one of the key uh, forensic tools when you're dealing with packet capture okay and in this one since we're dealing with Tomcat takeover uh, we already have few possible answers here so you can see your username password yeah valid login so and since we're dealing with Tomcat takeover uh, possible answers are these yeah admin admin secret Tomcat secret admin Tomcat and the one that fits the answer is admin Tomcat right that's an easy easy question eh and the next one number seven once inside the admin panel the attacker attempted to upload a file with the intent of establishing a reverse shell can you identify the name of this malicious file from the captured data so again a network miner to the rescue here uh, let's now move on to the files carve files from the pickup and the way to trace it is uh, of course uh, let's find the file from the offending IP the scanner the IP scanner the scanner IP I mean and uh, if we're going to, to browse to the files carve from the pickup there's actually only one file coming from that uh, offending IP and this is that file a war file okay jq jxqozy dot war which gives us the answer all right uh, which leads us to the final but not the not the ECS one okay so this will have some this will need some uh, tying up with the previous question so to speak so upon successfully establishing a reversal on our server the attacker aimed to ensure persistence on the compromised machine from the analysis can you determine the specific command they are scheduled to run to maintain a persistence okay so from the previous question because this is the reverse shell so let's let's search uh, where that specific uh, frame when that happened the the downloading of the reverse shell so to do that we'll be using the string search and then string search okay so let's find that uh, the frame of that uh, download shell download reverse shell down so we found it here and let's follow the TCP stream for that so this is that part oh I think I, I selected the wrong let's do that again find okay where is it hmm I think something went wrong we found it already okay let's apply the filter fine that's weird okay let me reopen the file sometimes it happens so open recent we already find it earlier okay this one right so let's do a follow TCP here oh yeah this is the, the exact the exact one okay so yeah this is the war file S sorry it's the correct one we've been looking all along all right that's the war file okay okay and we can't actually see here so to, to find out what happened next uh, we have to move to the next stream TCP stream in relation to the dumping of this reverse shell so to do that uh, let's iterate in the stream number here 
and voila we we are now we have now we are now seeing what commands were run right after that uh, reversal was downloaded and this is actually the persistence that was being done the creation of a cron 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 job cron tab uh, it's equivalent to schedule task in windows so you can see here uh, okay it's uh, establishing a reverse or reverse connection to the offending IP by a port 443 okay okay so hope you learn a lot uh, with this easy exercise and hope uh, uh, it, it brushes up your network forensic skills in a way okay so see you in the next challenge